Hey guys, what's going on? Okay, got a different type of video for you this time. Um, this will be my first time covering anything political, really. Uh, this was the GOP Republican presidential debate just a few days ago. I believe it was uh, November the 7th or 8th, I'm not sure. But anyway, so apparently this guy, Vivek Ramaswamy, just really destroyed everybody I'm hearing. Um, I did not watch it live or anything. I did see some clips. Uh, guys over there at the uh, Cartier family, they've, they've uh, discussed this guy and shown a lot of footage of him over the past few months here. And they, they really like him. So I've come to know what he's about just through them, basically. And I've liked everything this guy has said so far, pretty much. Um... But anyway, I think they even got a chance to meet him at some point. They uh, He invited them out to the border and everything. They have a whole video on that if you want to go check that out. But uh, anyway, yeah, so that's how I heard of this guy. And like I say, I've been very impressed with what he's been saying. I've really never been one to follow politics at all. Um, I just started, you know, kind of paying attention more and more closer and closer. It got to the uh, 2020 election when I really just... I've kind of just been like, you know, I mean, maybe one is a little better than the other, but in the end, they're all the same. They're all corrupt. You know, nothing's going to change, but I mean, guys, we saw a lot was different from Trump's era and the era we're unfortunately in now, and I did realize before the, you know, before the 2020 election came around. I did realize that, you know, Biden, Obama, all those guys were just absolutely terrible, evil people. And, you know, I was going to go vote for Trump. I did not get my uh, I did not get my voters registration in on time. I've only voted one time in my life, guys, in 2004. Um, I did vote for John Kerry against Bush. I didn't really care for Bush much at all. But I've, I've never really said I'm a Republican or Democrat. I definitely, of course, favor the Republicans um, more so by far, but um, especially nowadays. But, uh, you know, just kind of whoever sounds the best a lot of times. But like I say, I've really never followed it much at all. But I do follow it now a lot more than I ever did. And, um, yeah, this guy is really speaking some truth on pretty much everything I've ever heard him say. Um, these are just some highlights of how he was just destroying people left and right at this uh, presidential debate just a few days ago. So um, this is a video from Officer Tatum. I'm sure you guys have heard him before. He's got a big channel on YouTube. He works with Candace Owens, I believe. They have a business that they run together. Um, so anyway, you know this guy, he, he's, he's all about the truth, and uh, so yeah, he, he's, he's always been an avid Trump supporter, uh, Officer Tatum, and um, you know, so now he's kind of backing this guy, and you know, if Trump's not going to win, this would definitely be the guy, I would say, so um, anyway, uh, Ron DeSantis, also, I've, you know, I've heard some stuff of him, I like his policies, what he's done to get the gay stuff out of schools and everything in Florida. I like his ideas, you know, so far from what I've heard. He seems like a very good good guy. He's trying to stand up for morals and everything, and he's trying to get rid of this bullshit that they're trying to push on kids, this transgender nonsense and gay stuff, and he's gotten that out of the schools successfully as far as I know. But, um, you know, when it comes to debating and when it comes to talking, this guy has a leg up on everybody, it seems like. So, guys, I'm just going to play it. Uh, let me know in the comments who you think is, you know, a, the best candidate on the Republican side. I know a lot of people want Trump back in there. Uh, I would be fine with Trump, Vivek, or Ron DeSantis, to be honest with you. But looks like from what happened the other day, looks like this guy just cooked them all. So <laughs> we're going to get into it here. And guys, I don't know everything that they're talking about. I'll just warn you, like I say, I follow politics a little bit, a lot more than I ever did, but it's still not, you know, I'm not a fanatic about it or anything, but, you know, I'm definitely on the Republican side. We see what the Democrats are doing. Uh, just pure evil right now in everything they're doing. But anyway, let's just get into it, guys. And so the fact of the matter is, I mean, Christian, I'm going to use this time because it's actually about you and the media and the corrupt media establishment. Ask you the Trump-Russia collusion hoax that you pushed on this network for years. Was that real or was that Hillary Clinton made up disinformation? Yeah, so we know what that's about, as you know, for years now, the 
it's all been about Trump, you know, betraying this country and everything like that. And, you know, this, I, I guess they took him to trial at some point about that, or maybe that's what he's in trial for now. I'm not even sure. I don't think that's what it is now. But, um, you know, as far as I know, they've never really found any evidence at all. So I don't know what the debate is. But, I mean, just, just fake news everywhere. So, I mean, you know, they all have their sides. Of course, Fox News is, you know, pushing the Republican agenda and pretty much every other news channel is pushing the Democrat agenda. So, you know, there's, I mean, I'm sure both sides, obviously the Democrats are full of lies and BS. We know that, but you know, even on the Republican side that are pushing their agenda, just all one way, you know, I'm sure they, uh, over exaggerate things too sometimes, but, uh, you know, it seems like the Republicans have a lot more sense to be honest with you. So, um, Anyway, guys, like I say, just let me know who you think would be the best uh, candidate to run, who you think would be best to lead the country right now. But this guy's looking like he's going to be very impressive. So he's going to be hard to debate with. It looks like that, at least. So, Answer the question. Go. Mr. Ross. Sorry. Sorry. This is how we get our country back. <laughs> oh, my God. Mm. <laughs> This video is brought to you by TatumStore.com. TatumStore.com, ladies and gentlemen. I, I'm Vivek was wow. whooping him them so bad. I feel. I like that shirt, man. Gotta rewind that. Pause this. This video is brought to you by TatumStore.com. TatumStore.com. Right, right there. Look at this one, guys. Enough said. Man and woman. That's it. That's all there is. Sorry. Sorry to that offending anybody, but that's all. That's the only two genders there are. There's not they, them, there's not neither, there's not, you know, can't choose to be an animal, can't choose to be a basketball, you know. So you're either a man or a woman. Just accept it, be happy with it. Thank God that you are that because that's what he wanted you to be. So anyway, um, I think this this one over here in the funny letter, and I think that's a different language. That might be Aramaic or Hebrew. I'm not really sure. I think that just stands for like God is... God, uh, Jesus is Lord or God is great, something like that. It seems like he said that before, but um, anyway, yeah, I'm sure you guys know who this is, the one doing this uh, rundown on this video, Officer Tatum. So yeah, he's out there, he's doing his thing. So uh, let's just keep going. I come, ladies and gentlemen, I, I'm Vivek was whooping him them so bad. I feel bad for them, yeah. and I feel generous. Mm -hmm. So I want to give thirty percent off the entire store if you put in discount code Beatdown. <laughs> Beat down, you get 30% yeah. off the entire store. You better get the merch today. Yeah. Like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell to get notifications. So he's so he's giving 30% off because he just feels so bad for everybody else that the vet was just torturing. That's crazy. Anytime I go live, make a video, make sure you subscribe torture. to the channel, Torture. like this video, comment on this other video. Damn. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, ladies, I, I have never in my life, not even Trump has done what I had I've just witnessed mm. at the debate. Vivek Ramaswamy moved down to about third place for me. And Ron DeSantis was two. Donald Trump was ranked number one. Vivek Ramaswamy, at the clip I'm going to show you, jumped all the way up to neck and neck with Donald Trump in my book. Ooh, this crazy. is the baddest, I would say. He has been a diehard Trump supporter for years. I mean, it, I mean, I don't, you know, like I say, I just recently started following politics kind of, you know, really kind of hard. But, um, yeah, ever since I've seen this guy, he has been a complete Trump supporter. And, you know, for him to say that, that's big. So Vivek, Vivek really impressed him for sure. Say beat down and, and, and lecture and call out I have ever seen in politics. Mm. I have never seen somebody whoop people like this verbally it was so bad and i'm gonna show it to you it was so i i was cringing i almost walked out of the the where i almost walked out of my podcast studio because he was whooping them so bad mm. i i feel bad for, i want to go give ronald mcdonald a hug anyway y'all gotta watch this <laughs> if you hadn't seen vivek spanking he did watch the film Mm. Swami, let me turn to you. Uh, please. Oh, when we turn to you, that's not a good idea, my my homie. Make your case. Why would you? Uh, why should you be the nominee and not the former president? I think there's something deeper going on in the Republican Party here, and I am upset about what happened last night. 
Mm. We've become a party of losers at the end of the day. We're a cancer in the Republican establishment. I believe Let's the, speak the truth. I mean, since Ron whatever went on Tuesday, I, I, I'm guessing the Democrats got the win again in most places. I don't know what that election was about this past Tuesday, but I'm guessing that's what that was about. So, yeah, I mean, it's become to where Democrats are ruling, guys, and it's a sad deal. So. Let's speak the truth. I mean, since Ronna McDaniel took over as chairwoman of the RNC in 2017, we have lost 2018, 2020, 2022, no red it wave shows. that ever came. We got trounced last night in 2023. And I think that we have to have accountability in our party. For that matter, Ron, if you want to come on stage tonight, you want to look the GOP voters in the eye and tell them you resign, I will Ooh. turn over my yield my time to you. Mm. Hey. Ding, ding, ding. That's one knockout. Come on up. He said, come on stage and resign tonight. <laughs> I give you my time. Come on, come on, Vivek. Come on, get the, let's run it up. And frankly, look, the people there are cheering for losing in the Republican Party. Mm. Think about who's moderating this debate. This should be Tucker Carlson, Joe Rogan, and yes. Elon Musk. We'd have 10 times the viewership asking questions that GOP primary voters actually care about and bringing more people into our party. Mm-hmm. That's another one. Absolutely. Do you think the Democrats, I mean, we've got Kristen Welker here. Do you think the Democrats would actually hire Greg Gutfeld to host a Democratic debate? They wouldn't do it. And so well, the fact of the matter is, I mean, Kristen, I'm going to use this time because this is actually about you and the media and the oh, corrupt media God. establishment I'm asking killing. the Trump Russia collusion hoax that you pushed on this network for years. Mm. Was that real or was that Hillary Clinton made up disinformation? Mm. Answer the question. Go. <laughs> Mr. Oh. Sorry. Go. He dropped the mic on him. Hey there, it's Mandy from Sprizzy. Oh, In this boy. video, I'll show you how to set. We need accountability because this media rigged the 2016. She almost cried right there. Election. <laughs> they rigged the 2020 election with a yeah. Hunter Biden laptop story. Mr. Ramos, and they're going to rig this election. Your time is trying to cut him off. Let me turn to That's Governor, Governor Christie. Uh, we've talked about. Yeah, they try to cut him off as soon as he starts talking too truthfully. They don't like that. This. You campaign on TikTok. How do you get TikTok banned if you use it? Well, I, I, I want to laugh at why Nikki Haley didn't answer your question, which is about looking at families in the eye. In the last <laughs> debate, she made fun of me for actually joining TikTok while her own daughter was actually using the app mm. for a long time. So she is pissed. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. He on here killing them, bro. <laughs> on here spanking them you cannot god that. dang nikki haley what do you say to that might want to take care of your family first oh my god americans are using it and that's actually oh the my you have god the easy answer is actually oh my to say god that ban one app we got to go further we have to ban any all, U.S. company. All she can say is you're just scum. She has no debate, no no response. That's all she can do. And that didn't even phase him. He didn't even hear it. He just keeps on going. He, he's killing them right now. That's crazy. Oh, That's crapping her up. oh That's my fine. God! You're just the scum. easy answer is actually oh my to say God. that we just ban one app. We got to go further. Hmm. We have to ban any U.S. company oh actually God. transferring U.S. data to the Chinese. Here's a story hmm. most people don't know. Airbnb hands over U.S. user data to the CCP. Now, that's a U.S. owned company. So this is the problem when you have Republicans that temporarily go the way the dang. winds blow. And now it's popular to talk tough on China when she was U.N. ambassador, mm. called them literally her words, not mine, our great friend. You can't be fair weather oh, fans of the right policy. Crazy. Get to the root cause. Even U.S. companies in Silicon Valley are regularly doing it. Cut the virtue signaling. The fact of the matter is Democrats are on TikTok today. The only person, one of the few people who is putting up content the way the actual algorithms work, speaking for pro-Israel views or others, is Ambassador me, Haley, um, more Republicans will join it. Stop again. U.S. companies from turning over data to Chinese companies. That's Moderators the real like, answer. Uh, the Christian, don't get Mr. Ramaswamy, are you persuaded? Guys, I didn't watch this whole thing, but I guarantee you, they didn't jump in and try to cut anybody else off in this thing. I would be willing to bet money on that right now. I guarantee you not one other person was, for one, passionate enough to keep going and going. And I guarantee you that they did not try to stop one other person from talking whenever they were talking like they're doing this guy. That tells you a lot right there. I'm just going to leave it at that. By President. Hold on. I, that's a lot to digest right there. God. 
dang, mm. this is how you whoop people. <laughs> like, I, I, he moved down the list for me at first. That mean, he back at the top. Mm. It, I ain't gonna even lie to y'all. I, I, it, it, Trump got a little bit of juice, but man, I like I like Vivek. Man, he young, he enthusiastic, he's smart, he can articulate himself. Man, he would debate better, he would look better, he'll be more presidential than mm. Trump would be. I'm just being honest. I mean, he moved up the charts. I was he was sleeping on him, and then he came and started spanking people. Shot out of That's what I'm talking clip. about. Wrote yeah. a clip. Zelensky's mm. urgent new plea. Where do you stand on more funding? I'm absolutely unpersuaded. And I'm actually enjoying watching the Ukraine hawks quietly, delicately tiptoe back from their position as this thing has unwound into a disaster. The first half of this race, I was the only person standing for it. Now they're actually quietly coming around to being more cautious as they should. Level with the American people here. Ukraine is not a paragon of democracy. This is a country that has banned 11 opposition parties. It has consolidated all media into one state TV media arm. That's not democratic. It has threatened not to hold elections this year unless the U.S. forks over more money. That is not democratic. It has celebrated a Nazi in its ranks, the comedian in cargo pants, a man called Zelensky, doing it in their own ranks. That is not democratic. More facts for you that you won't hear from the mainstream in either party or the mainstream media. The regions of Ukraine that are occupied by Russia right now in the Donbass, Luhansk, Donetsk, these are Russian speaking regions that have not even been part of Ukraine since 2014 that other people probably couldn't name those provinces for you. Those are the hard facts. And so to frame this as some kind of battle between good versus evil, don't buy it. And mm. I'd like the likes of the, the sharpest of the war hawks on Ukraine, Nikki Haley, to have some accountability. Guys, I don't, I'm going to be honest with you. I do not know exactly what he's talking about. But, I mean, it just sounds like in general that, you know, people are just trying to keep stuff secret and they're not going to talk about this because it doesn't look good. Most people, but he's willing to speak on it. So that's what I'm getting from it. If you guys know more, please let me know, you know, inform me. Like I say, I'm, you know, I'm lost on some of this stuff. Ability and answer. Do you want to use U.S. taxpayer money to fund the banning of Christians. Oh. That is actually what's happening. They're using the Ukrainian Orthodox Church. They have banned them. The Ukrainian parliament just did this last week, yeah. supported by our dollars. That. And I think you owe it to the American people, Nikki, to at least this Mr. one time. Mr. Ramaswamy, thank you. That's time. At least they're Mr. Ramaswamy, off again. They're thank banning you. of Christians. They're cutting him off again. That's the third time, and that's just in a highlight video. So I can't imagine how many times they tried to cut him off before he was done. But, um, Look at her. She looks like she's about to explode, guys. He is just putting her on the spot. She has nothing. <laughs> Mr. Ramaswamy, thank you. Mr. Ramaswamy, thank you. We asked the question. Mr. Ramaswamy, please. Yeah, Mr. Ramaswamy, stop spanking murder. us, please. <laughs> yeah, you got to stop this this slaughter of everybody. You got to stop this murder. Damn. Look at Nikki Haley, man. These, these women like this fold under pressure like a lawn chair. I have to say that that Vivek in his approach tonight really gave a lot of credence to him being a strong voice. I think he kind of slowed down, but man, I like what he's saying. The man is making sense. He he reminded me of Trump in 2016 when everybody else was fluff talking and he was straight, you know, punching facts. And this is what Vivek is doing. And let me say this because some of y'all ain't gonna like it. It's fine. You go watch the other videos you like. But I will say this, when it comes to debating, when it comes to having a voice, when it comes to somebody who can articulate himself, yep. I honestly believe that Vivek Ramaswamy, and I'm Never saying this stumbles. and I'm the first to say it, Vivek Ramaswamy is very much Obama-esque. And when I say that, I don't say Obama meaning he's a dark horse. I'm saying Obama meaning he has charisma, he's in touch with the younger people, he can articulate himself, he's very presidential, and he can debate the socks off of anybody. And Barack Obama, although he was a loser, in my opinion, Damn he right. could do all of those things which made him more appealing to the yeah. people. People are not sitting here looking at policy positions as much as they're looking at charisma. And if somebody can articulate themselves in a 30 second clip, people. He's definitely the best speaker right now, I would have to say. I mean, he never gets stumbled. He's got an answer for everything. He's ready to go. It's like a I mean, he's like a damn machine gun. You just you put you ask him a question. He just he just starts spitting all around. That's crazy. People are going to be more digestible. It's going to be more digestible to the people. So I will say Vivek Ramaswamy has moved himself all the way up neck and neck yeah. with Donald Trump. To me, um, I think that Donald all Trump right. has no. 
all right guys so that's yeah that's all the highlights there so um anyway yeah let me know what you think of this guy i mean i'm sure you guys have heard of him uh for quite a while now but uh he's been making a splash it seems like seems like he just kind of skyrocketed out of nowhere somehow but um anyway yeah let me know what you think so uh Anyway, guys, just please hit that like, share, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notifications bell. Be notified as soon as I drop a video. Um, it's every day, at least one. But um, anyway, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please come join the family. God's Mafia. I'm out.